my channel. Hello, patrons. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube down the line, become a patron of mine. I do exclusive giveaways just for my patrons, monthly exclusive giveaways, uh, as well as uh, book private reading with me. Uh, that You can do that on either of the platforms, but book a private reading with me, coaching consultation. Information for all of those Patreon and private readings is in the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. Um, and if you're brand new and you're watching this on, set, on YouTube, hit the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. Uh, so as always, let me do the date because this is a The Baby and Danny Lee reading. We're going to, or Danny Lay. Danny Lay, let me get it right. Danny Lay. All right. So this is the date. Can you all see that? It's December 7th, 2020. Because y'all know uh, when these celebrity readings funnel down to youtube sometimes it'd be about two or three months out uh so yeah so let's see so at recent i'm doing this reading because at recent um the baby and danny lay made it official so apparently the baby was going back and forth between um danny lay's uh some other woman he got pregnant and his baby mom i hate that term baby mama and the mother of his first child mimi um, and it appears that him and Mimi have had the strongest connection of them all. You know, she's been the ride or die and all of that. So, but now he's with Danny Lay. Danny Lay was one of the women that the baby was kind of messing with while he was with Mimi, you know. who chow. <laughs> so anyway, what we want to know is, um, well, what's going to happen between their relationship? Is it going to stay together? Um, will there be kids involved uh, or you know, will it fall apart? And then I want to know too, you know, uh, what's going to happen between him and Mimi, who is there. She even, I saw somewhere she had even wrote like this uh, statement saying, you know, it's always going to be her. So she letting them women know, like, you can do what you're going to do, but <laughs> I might just be the person that he with one of these times when he don't come home to you. Y'all, it is a mess, a dumpster fire. Anyway, let's see. Universe, thank you for the channel messages. Danny Lay, spirit guides, and the baby spirit guides. Let's see first. How does the baby really feel about Danny Lay? What is his true feelings about Danny Lay? What's the baby's true feelings for Danny Lay? Give me one more. What is the baby's true feelings for Danny Lay? Uh, and let's see. What does he want out of the relationship with Danny Lay? What's the baby want with this, out of the relationship with Danny Lay? You all, forgive the sounds outside. All right, so let's see. And how does Danny Lay truly feel about the baby? How does Danny Lay truly feel about the baby? How does Danny Lay truly feel about the baby? Give me one more. How does Danny Lay truly feel about the baby? And what does she want out of this relationship? What does she want out of this relationship? What does she want out of this relationship? You all, those are actually really great questions to ask yourselves. Like, when you get into a relationship, what do I want out of this relationship? I'm kind of feeling this one, too. Ooh, so we got soulmate energy that came at the bottom of the deck for her. So let's see how the baby feels about Danny Lay. We have, ooh, the nine of pentacles that came out in the upright. We have the three of cups that came out in the reverse. Interesting. Ooh. We got the devil card that came out um, in the reverse. And then we have the ace of wands. You all, this may be a good time and not a long time between the two of them. I'm hearing he wants her on his team. He likes her. He's She's definitely a woman that he really takes to. But you all, there's going to be other women involved with this situation. And it kind of feels like, I feel like anybody, like you don't even have to de be deeply intuitive to kind of get the energy of that. Um, because he's still kind of in this single energy. This is a selfish energy too that I'm feeling with this Nine of Pentacles. He's, it's kind of like it's his show. And the women that he gathers in his life are on his timing. We have peace. So right now, I feel like with Danny Lay, things are a bit more peaceful than what he's had with Mimi and other connections. And this is what he's hoping for out of this connection. Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing right or die, she held me down and poised. So this is someone for right now where it gives him a sense of, you know, just slowing down. Not even slowing down, but just I'm hearing that she goes along with a lot of stuff and not in like a, a foolish way. And it's nothing wrong with going along with your mate and them going along with you. It's it's about reciprocity that the both of you are giving out 
and receiving but but right now she's his sense of peace and that's what he's hoping for out of this relationship that it's not going to be hard that she's not nagging because i don't get the a nagging energy off of her at least not at this point in time so let's see how does she truly feel about the baby danny lay we, ooh, she's in love. We got the Ace of Cups. She's in love. Look at that. That's her baby. I even seen that post on her IG, you know, um, that's my baby. And then a little heart. Yeah, she's in love. Look at that. But you all, now this is interesting. She feels like she knows there's other energies there. But she's willing to fight. Her and Mimi will be fighting. Oh, look at that. This is what she wants. She's in love. She's in it for the long haul. Mm, she wants to marry this man. She might even get pregnant. She wants a baby. She wants a baby with the baby. And look at that. So definitely, she's here. She's here for the long haul. Like, Mimi got to run for her money with this one. Um, and this is what she's hoping for out of the relationship. We got round and round. We got land and milk. And she wants to be married, you all. We got higher power. Oh, my gosh. She is in love. And we have orphans. So Ray here. She's hoping that he doesn't leave. She feels like it could be a possibility sometime in the future. She's very anxious in this relationship. She has a more anxious att attachment to the baby, and the baby is definitely secure. He feels like she's not going anywhere, but he's also in that mindset of ah, he's not as attached to her as she is to him. Look at that. He's he's in. It's all about himself. He's attached to himself. Look at this. This is who he's attached to. He's attached to himself. So let's find out really quickly. Um. What's going to be the outcome of their relationship overall? That I am very curious about. What's going to be the overall outcome of the relationship? Let's see. Let's use a different deck. Let's use a different deck. It's more different energy. Universe, what's the outcome? Ultimate outcome between the baby and Danny Lay. How far will they go in this relationship? What's the ultimate outcome between the baby and Danny Lay? How far will they go in this relationship? Give me one more. It's the ultimate outcome between Danny Lay and the baby in this relationship. Do I feel those? Eh. What's the ultimate outcome between Danny Lay and the baby in this relationship? Give me one more. Maybe I don't need any more. One more. There we go. Six of coins. Okay. I'm seeing there's a commitment. There's a strong commitment here. It's going to keep going further. Definitely at the time that I'm doing this, this is December 2020. We're still in the pandemic. It's going to last that one. She's going to see to it. Give me ultimate outcome between the baby and Danny Lay. Ultimate outcome between the baby and Danny Lay. Ultimate outcome between Danny Lee and the baby. I feel this one as well. Ultimate outcome between Danny Lee and the baby. We have codependency. Yeah, she's definitely very attached. They're very attached to each other at this point in time. I feel like his feelings of love is going to grow for her. He doesn't love her at this point in time. Like he cares about her, though, you know, because, you know, when you say, oh, you don't love her, folks be, you know, what do you mean? But, you know, he his is growing where she is in love. Ooh, we got the high priestess. Very connected. Look, the, look at that. Very connected. It's their marriage in this. The queen of cups. Still feeling one on the team. We got the devil card. Very highly sexual. Very attached. Very codependent. Very attached. But I'm not seeing marriage as a... Mm, Nine of Cups, the baby is going to be the baby. There's some selfishness that's going on in this relationship. He's going to be himself, but she's going to put up with it. In this decision mode, there's there's going to be makeups and breakups within this. And he's and the energy that's coming through in the makeups and breakups, he's going to be running right back to uh, Mimi. We have calling in your soulmate, let go of control issues. So with that calling in your soulmate, I feel like he's going to have a post where he declares her as like, you know, his, I haven't, you know, you know, when people exalt folks, this is my one, my baby. I can't believe I, we, we have this, that type of thing. We yeah, have very soon. I feel like there may be a pregnancy out of this, um, or at least a pregnancy. I don't want to say pregnancy scare because everybody's not scared of it, but you know, pregnancy rumor, um, romantic feelings, forgiving and learning. You all, I'm not saying to go to marriage. This is what she wants though. She wants the marriage, but the baby isn't as, as attached. He is going to grow love feelings for her, but I'm not seeing him fall head over heels in love with her, you all. So eh, it's going to be at least a year time span for this relationship for sure that I'm getting. But I don't know how long um, after that or if they'll make it to like marriage. So lastly, I want to get feelings for him and Mimi between him and Mimi or how he feels about Mimi because we know how Mimi feels about him. But how does he feel about Mimi and 
what's going to be the ultimate action between them because you all it's not over between them i feel that energy strong it is not over between him and me to universe thank you for the channel messages give us complete outcome how does no how does the baby feel about me sincerely how does the baby really feel about me how does the baby really feel about me give me one more how does the baby really feel about me what does he desire most with me give me one more what does he desire most with me go to distance mm, mm, mm. see this is why this man's complete devotion isn't with danny she's more of a a, a, a right now energy more recent um wow universe what's going to be the ultimate outcome between the baby and me what's the ultimate outcome between the baby and me give me one more what's going to be the ultimate outcome between the baby and me Ooh, yeah yeah uh-uh she's not going nowhere um, give me the ultimate outcome between the baby and Mimi. Give me two cards. What's going to be the ultimate outcome between the baby and Mimi? There may be another child that's in the mix of this playfulness. Yep, she's not going anywhere. So we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to find out what is his true feelings and what does he hope most out of Mimi. So his true feelings. We have the temperance card. Oh, he's impatient with her. <laughs> There's a lot of bickering between the two of them. Um but he trusts her i just heard um like, like like he trusts her you all with that ace of swords he tells her everything deep secrets he's not even gonna t be going to her about danny lee and things he, yeah look at that and see get this this didn't even come out with his current girlfriend with danny lay this he still desires something it's just that it doesn't it's not working but he doesn't want to let go of her we have transformation. So with this death card, this signifies that there's an ending there, but but that death breeds forth to new life. He doesn't want to let go of her. He doesn't know how he's going to hold on to her, but he knows he's going to constantly pop up. He's not going to let her move on. That's what I mean with that. And then we have the two of swords. So remember that came up with what's going to be between him and Danny Lay, the ultimate outcome. And she's going to always be a part of his decision. Like right now, he's not making a decision on her. He's in a different direction, but she's going to always be one of those persons where she's looming in the background. And honestly, I feel the, the likelihood of more longevity between those two, between Mimi and the baby, than Danny Lay and the baby or anybody else in the baby. I, honestly, I feel like if he loves anyone, he loves her. If he's in love anywhere, he's in love with her. No one has taken that place of those feelings for him as of yet. We have round and round. Yep and take a nap so they're taking a the time out but he's not letting her go that's what that is so danny lay ooh, ooh, okay um and let's see ultimate outcome between the baby and mimi wow there's no i don't like this there's a new baby coming between those two within the next couple of years there's a new baby look at that um we got the tower that came out in reverse we got the page of cups yep he loves her heartbreak heartbreak he loves her he's not letting her go if they don't I'm not seeing marriage right here, but they're going to make it to another baby. The baby and Mimi are going to make it to another baby. There's another kid coming within the next couple of years between these two. And let's see. We have separation. Yeah. We have deception. There's a lot of hurt in this connection. We have flirt. So they're going to be looming within each other's lives. It's looking like at this point in time in the energy, the both of them are just going to continue to move forward. I'm not seeing marriage. Um, I'm not seeing the baby really married to anybody right now to be honest i do feel the energy that you know there's going to be someone who comes up that he falls deeply in love with more so you know that he's going to eventually disconnect from mimi's energy i'm hearing that danny lee now danny lee lay I keep on calling her danny lee but danny lay is she's giving mimi a run for a month this has been the strongest uh, feminine woman energy to come in his life since of all the energies that mimi has had to deal with there is going to be one more child um, you know what's coming to mind, you all? The whole Peter, 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 I call him Peter. Peter, Tara, and uh, Amina situation from uh, Love and Hip Hop New York and how they were having baby wars. She's the Tara in this situation. He's still very connected, but ultimately, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. He's gonna find somebody completely, completely new. Um, and 
Danny Lay is fighting hard. So, you know, you, we can always manifest and change things. And she's fighting hard to manifest. I'm even getting that Danny Lay might be going through, you know, <laughs> the magic in order to make things happen. So that's what I'm getting with that. So that was exciting. So you all let me know in the comment section how you felt about this reading. What do you think about this union and this relationship between the baby and Danny Lay and Mimi? And what do you think the ultimate outcome may be? Uh, you all let me know. Uh, and if you feel compelled to subscribe, definitely do so. Join me on Patreon if you're not watching us on Patreon. Book a private reading with me, coaching consultation. And I'll be seeing you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.